Hello, my Plan to Eat peeps. It's Ronnie, and I'm here with another Two Minute Tuesday, where I teach you about a feature of Plan to Eat or give you a meal planning tip in two minutes or less. Today, I'm super excited to show you that we have a bulk editing feature on the Plan to Eat shopping list, and I'm going to take this Two Minute Tuesday to show you how to use it. So when you are on your shopping list, you will see that there is now a select button in the upper right hand corner. You can use that select button to enter your edit shopping list mode. And now you can use the check boxes next to the items on your list. You can also use the check boxes for an entire category like I did right there. Or you can use the one up by your grocery store to select everything in an entire store. Now I'm gonna select a few items here and you will see at the bottom I have the option to edit these items. I can change the store that they're in, the category, I can remove them, I can remove them from my list or I can copy to the staples list. Now removing them from the list is different than tapping them off your shopping list. If you remove them from your list here, you will have to restore your list in order to get them back. So let's change their category, put them somewhere else, hit save, and now those items moved to a different category. You can also do similar actions on the staples list. You can use the select button and then also select items on your staples list. And then you can edit those items. You have similar options, except you can add to the shopping list and select the specific store that you would like to add those items to in your shopping list. We're really excited about this new bulk editing option in the Planty app. If you use the bulk editing on the website, you have all the exact same options now on the Planty app. If you have questions about this feature or any other feature in Plant Eat, email us at help at and I will see you in another video soon.